This parabola would open to the left. Great thinking if you got that one right. One of the key things to recognize is that this equation is in the form x equals. Parabolas that are in this form either open to the left or to the right. Since the a value is negative 1, we know the parabola will open to the left. If I had a different parabola, like x equals 3y squared, then we can see that that parabola opens to the right, since the a value here is positive. Let's take this one away for a moment and just concentrate on the first parabola. Again, its vertex is at 0, 0. This is the turning point for the parabola. Notice also that there's an axis of symmetry that goes through the vertex. It means that if there's a point on this side of the graph, then directly across from it is another point. For example, we know the point negative 4, 2 is on the graph, so we could also know that the point negative 4, negative 2 is also on the graph. If we zoom in on our parabola, we can also find other points by moving from the vertex. Since our parabola is in the form x equals, this time we'll move up and down one unit. Next, we'll move a units in the x direction to find the two points. So a is negative 1, so I can go one unit up and one unit left. This gives me the point negative 1, 1. And if I want to find another point, I can move one unit down and one unit left to get this point, negative 1, negative 1. Let's also see this with this graph, x equals 3y squared. If we zoom in on this purple parabola, we can see how to get these points of 3, 1 and 3, negative 1. We start at the vertex, and we go one unit up and one unit down, since we're in the form x equals. And this time, we're going to go three units right, since the a value is positive 3. So we'll go one unit up and three units right, one unit down and three units right. This gives us the other two points on our parabola.